Hello friends, hello friends. Welcome to Happy Homeschool Moments here at the Happy Homeschool. We're just about to get that right now that it's time to not make them anymore. No more Happy Homeschool Moments. Well, we're going to continue until the end of May. Uh huh. But then it's time for summer vacation. That it already feels like summer vacation. I know it does. But summer vacation will be different from coronavirus vacation. Yeah, yeah. I hope you get to do wonderful things this summer, even if you don't get to go on your vacation. A good to little dawn. I hope you will vacation right at home. Um, today, I would like to talk about trees. Please, trees. Because I lost a tree. Were you sad? I was sad. Did you cry? I did cry. You cried about a tree? I did cry about a tree. Because you see, I've worked really, really hard on my garden. Really hard. And it was perfect and beautiful and very green and shady. No, it's not so shady. No, now it's not so shady. So I had to look on the bright side of things. Did you make a joke? What do you mean? Lots of sun. Bright side? Oh yeah, lots of sun, bright side. That is a funny joke. I'm, I'm hilarious. You are, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I did. I had to look on the bright side. I had to think, well, all that sun is going to come pouring into my garden and I'll have to water more. Yeah. And all that sun is going to come pouring into my garden and and now I'll have to sit somewhere else in the mornings. Yeah, yeah. And now all that sun is going to pour into my garden and I'll have to plant different plants. Was you feeling sorry for yourself? I did feel sorry for myself. So I had to just kind of get over myself and realize that even though it's different, my garden is still beautiful. Trees are very important. They are, oh yeah. You know they say that the Amazon rainforest, uh -huh, where all of those trees live, yes, is the lungs of the earth. Huh? Well, what do you breathe out of? Your belly. Well, when you're doing yoga, yeah, you do belly breaths, but we breathe in our heart, lungs, lungs, lungs. It's your lungs that take in the breath, take a big breath, and then you let it out. Yeah. Your lungs oxygenate, oxygenate your whole body and keep it going. Yeah, yeah, all of the organs of your body have a different function, and the lungs help us to oxygenate. We breathe with our lungs. And the world breathes with its trees. You see, trees filter the air. Trees are really one. Trees help us make oxygen. They do? Yeah. Trees oxygenate the air. Is that science? I, th I think that's science. So, it's important to have trees. Now, there is a really great poem by a woman named Joyce Kilmer about trees. And it ends with this. Poems are made by fools like me, but only God can make a tree. That's true. That's true. Only God or the process of nature can make a tree. But we can plant a tree. Yeah, yeah. My son likes to say, the best time to plant a tree is yesterday. But we can't go back, can we? No, no. We can't go back to yesterday. So the best, second best time to plant a tree is today. Today. So... Maybe this summer, while you're home on your staycation, staycation, that's funny, while you're home on your staycation, maybe you can plant a tree. You can start with a teeny tiny little tree. You can plant an acorn. An acorn? Yes, an acorn. You can plant an acorn, and from the acorn will grow a tree. Now, you won't live to see it be 30 feet tall. No, no. But every day that you watch it grow, you realize that you've performed a tiny miracle. Plant a tree today or sometime this summer while you're home on your staycation. Even if you don't have a yard of your own, maybe you live in an apartment, you can still plant a tree in a pot. And when it grows big enough, you can take it to the park and plant it there and everyone can enjoy it. Trees are important. Plant a tree today. A tree. Yes. Salute to trees. Salute to trees. Yeah. See you on Wednesday. I mean Friday, because we weren't here on Monday. No. See you Friday. Bye. 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 Plenty to the